Alrighty, well welcome. It's my pleasure to be talking with you guys today. I'm coming from the NASA Ames Research Center. Yeah, it sounds like we got people all over the world, literally, which is pretty cool. And I think I have one more school com coming in here as well. The lesson today was a kickoff for our geography unit and our social studies unit for the entire school year. Today the students got to meet with um, people from NASA in the Bay Area. They also had the opportunity to share what they knew with the other students from what they've learned in the last few weeks of what we've been studying with geography. We see a bunch of little white kind of dots all along here on the nighttime side. What do you think those white dots are? Light. 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 Exactly. Where do we find light? What causes a light to show up? What, what, what do those lights tell us about what's down on the ground? Why were there big clumps of lights together in some places more than others? Diana? Because, like, um, there's lots of jobs there, and it's like a city, so it's like where you can get a work and find home. So, yeah, so definitely by looking at the lights at nighttime, we can tell where people live. Talking with the scientists was an experience that I don't think I would have ever had. I really liked how we connected with other, other countries. Um, how big are the satellites? Um, the satellites are probably about 10 to 15 meters in diameter, I would say. Using the video conference, it, it makes it alive. and. Um, it's very exciting. Now my students are talking about wanting to go to the UK and go wanting to go to the Nile and it's, um, it's just opened up a whole new world. They got to travel outside the boundaries of our community which they often don't get to do um, just due to costs and, and availability of transportation. So I've been to Egypt, I've been down the Nile and let me tell you the Nile River does not look green. So why does it look green right here? This, this is a true image, hasn't been artificially colored. What do you think all that green stuff is? Or why, does it, why does it look green on this map? When you see green on a satellite image, because on the river, it's because it's sometimes it shows that green because there are crops near that river. Seeing exactly where Egypt get, grows all their you know, vegetables and fruits and everything they need is right along the Nile. The Nile is really their only major water source. I think they got to extend the lesson with the video conference to deepen their understanding of the topics that they're studying and learning. Also, it was more recent technology than our textbooks. It was interesting to talk, um, to talk with kids around the world, like from Europe and UK and all the places. It's interesting that we get to use the cameras and the microphones to talk with kids from far away from here. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah.